What's going on, everybody? This is 2020 Bowman Baseball Hobby Full Case Break Number Six. Pick your teams on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Joe's opening the case right there. Having a little office watch party of the office on Comedy Central of the ver far superior U.S. edition. The U.K. office is much better. IMAX says Snatch is one of his favorite movies. Is that a John Malkovich movie? That's a uh, Guy Ritchie movie. Is that just out of the blue, or is it guy? I think he's just referencing the British stuff. English oh, okay. Stuff. Yeah, Joe's a fan of like the UK stuff. I've never. I'm a fan I don't know. Of the UK stuff. There's the break schedule. What's up, Darren? Um, I watched this new Ricky Gervais show. It's really dark, though. Oh, Afterlife or yeah. something like that? Yeah, that's kind of sad. They came out with a second season, but I watched the first I heard it's a great show, but it's just... Yeah. It's heavy. I just hate Ricky Gervais because when, when he was in Curb, he was such a dick to Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone can see on camera. Yeah. Yeah, we're not we're not stealing paper base. Come on, <laughs> stealing your paper base. I don't know. Now it won't click this. Okay, there you go. Right. There's Joe. I'll just be like a dealer and just like just randomly show my hand. Yeah, the new show Ricky Gervais is called Afterlife. Pretty depressing though. So if you don't like dark com, it's pretty dark, dark comedy. I mean, for at least what I watch, I like like cheesy NBC comedy stuff. So. Yeah, Matt. I think the Crown Royale, what was that at? Like 1 a.m.? Sure. One of the last breaks of the night. It's one of the last breaks. I think around 1 a.m. Pacific, 4 a.m. Eastern, and I'll have the video uploaded. And then Cut, cut closes it out. Yeah, I did see that, Rex. Jimmy Fallon did. Uh, I, I don't know if we want to talk about that, though. But yeah, his Chris Rock. Well, he did Blackface on SNL. And now, like, people are bringing it back up and, like, get a, issued an apology, I think. Why would he do blackface on SNL? It was, like, 20 years ago, but probably not smart. Oh, like, he did it 20 years ago? Yeah. Probably still was not acceptable then, either. Probably. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, like... I got it. I didn't remember that. I don't know why you'd get, like, bring it up now and uh, just get upset about it, but... I mean, people are bored. Yeah, they're just looking at old arc. They're... But yeah, I mean, probably not not the smartest thing. I mean, Robert Downey Jr. did it in Tropic Thunder. So did his cast if it's always something to build up in. I think... No, but they did it differently. Well, I think that's the same with Tropic Thunder. I think that's why Robert Downey Jr. kind of got away with it. Well, and he's Robert Downey Jr. Right. But I think that the filmmakers were very careful to to do it and make it so over the top that it was absurdity. Like, it was making like fun you could of, obviously be making right. people who do it. Yeah, the, and the Jimmy Fallon one was not funny, so that's also part of it. Right. I didn't it's think it was that funny. just a throwaway sketch, then It's like when Jimmy Kimmel did that's it. That's dangerous ground. I think Jimmy Kimmel did Carl Malone blackface, too. Uh, 24 of 150, Will Wilson, Angels There's really Edition. just no reason to do it unless... But yeah, all, I mean, it was a long time ago. It's not like they just did it. So it is a little different, but probably not. But yeah, I don't still understand why people would just bring it up now. I mean, yeah. Purple Auto, the 250, Grant Little. Was there, was there no outrage 20 years ago? Right. Jeffrey Goldberg with that. Maybe it was the 145 sketch, and then there's like a night. Chris Rock told him that he could do it. He loved it. Yeah, I guess that changes it too a little bit. Alright, so that's the one auto, so now we just have uh, non-auto stuff to look for. Remember, only paper cards that ship will be Robert Pawson, Bobby Witt Jr., and Jason Domingai. Domingai, all the Domingai. Billy Crystal did 
Sammy Davis Jr. in the late 80s and no one cared. Uh, Atomic Julio Rodriguez. There's a uh, Dominguez paper. Yeah, I mean, 80s was a little different too, right? It was a weird time in the 80s. Yeah, I think uh, Robert Downey Jr. is probably the last one to ever do that. I don't think SNL is that funny anyway. I don't. I've never liked SNL. I've never really liked skit comedy. I kind of like Key and Peele. A few, but I don't know. Just not my type of comedy. Like, I don't even think the old SNLs are that funny, but that's just me. Maybe you had to grow up in that prime generation of SNL people. Orange paper, Yusai Kikuchi to 25. Remember how John Krasinski, Kras, Kras, Mike Krasowski is married to Emily Blunt? Yeah. Is that what you're going to say? Actually, yeah. And it's like an action star now. Remember how he created a YouTube series about posting feel-good news and stuff, and then he sold it to CBS Viacom for like $20 million? What? A YouTube show. He created like two months ago during the quarantine, just happy news, and then he sold it. So isn't that kind of like against the whole point? Yeah, that makes me sad. He's a sellout. Sellout. I guess someone told me that Someone knew, like, he's not a very nice person either. Like, some set people say that. Oh, yeah? I think Alex said that to me. I don't know. I was like, okay. How many times has he been on, been on set? John Krasinski. Oh, no. somebody, somebody on set. Mike Krasowski. John Krasinski. Mike Krasowski. Mike Krasowski. Mm -hmm. I know, I got hot in here all of a sudden. It did, actually. It was, it was at a good time. It's got to be on. That's what it's... It's got to be on. It's just got to be on. I don't believe the temperature... It's got to circulate that temperature. It can't just be stagnant at that temperature. Fair enough. Mike Pazowski. Remember how they made a sequel and nobody watched it? Was it Monsters University? Why not? What do you think they are? Toy Story? Well, it's a prequel, I guess, not a sequel. What do you think they are? Toy Story? That's make well, they should have made a sequel, but they made a prequel instead. That's where they went wrong. Yeah, why did they ghost? I don't know. What were you going to do with that story afterwards? Sequel wise? I don't know how it ended. I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't seen it in 30 years. <laughs> Colton Welker to 250. Purple. I actually forget how Monsters Inc. ended. I, I think it had something to do with, like, I don't know. There's Just Brady liberals McConnell pushing their liberal agenda about, about manufacturing. The Royals. That's going out to Jay Remington. Man, we're really getting off topic here. <laughs> it was, uh, it was the, the octopus leg guy was the... the <gasps> oh my god. Is it super? Come on. Well, it's backwards. I don't see it's numbered, though. Oh, it is numbered. Oh, 250. Wow. Purple Auto, Jason wow. Dominguez. Woo. So if the base ones are two grand, Jeremy Tillman has the Yankees. So it, it could have been the Super Fractor when I flipped it around. So they number them on the front. I forgot that. Ooh. Nice one, JT. There you go, Tillman. Congrats, man. Pretty nice. Nice auto, too. Some of his autos are streaky. This looks like a... Strong shot at a 10 auto grade. I don't know. Wonder, wonder what hand he writes with. Jason saying hobbies where it's at. Are you a hobby stand? If it's streaky, is he is he left handed when he signs? Because he he's a switch hitter. I don't know what what. So we gotta find out what his pen hand is. Maybe he does both. Wow. So maybe he does like 400 left handed, 400 right handed, 400 left handed, 400 right handed. Mid mid picture mid uh break picture here. 
for the gram. Dane Dunning. Yeah, he could do two cards at once if he uh, signs with both. Done in half the time. Hmm? If he signs with both hands, he could oh. do two cards at once. Man, imagine if that was a super fractor auto. He would have been. He would have been like, "What are they talking about at the beginning?" I would have just like that video would have been <laughs> hundred thousand views. They're like they're talking about Monsters <laughs> Inc. The the artistic uh, Dominguez. <laughs> The, the, the artistic worthiness of, of blackface in, in comedy. Uh, <laughs> the liberal agenda in Monsters, Inc. And uh, John Krasowski not being nice on set. <laughs> what else? We talked about a lot of things. Yeah, it's really we got, bad. We, got, we, got, we went off the rails really fast. I blame Rex. He brought it up. Right, of course it's Rex. Rex is always bringing up like serious life topics. Yeah, life, life topics, and we're just like, man, makes you think, and then. Yeah. And I, I fall for Rex's bait late at night because I'm like delirious. And you're just like on autopilot, you're just yeah. reading the chat, and then you're like, oh. But, and then it seems like, oh, you, no one's gonna see this, but like, what if like my future employer like sees that video and doesn't right. hire me now? They're, they're like. They're like, oh, you talked about this on air? Then yeah. Yeah, all of the paper base gets donated. Well, we sell it, usually sell it, and then donate the, the money that we sell it for. A lot of times we sell it in the store. Or we do have a few teachers who buy from us that we send cards to. But we don't usually send Bowman just because a lot of kids won't know who the Bowman players are. Unless they're in a, unless these seven-year-old kids yeah, are they're getting are into in prospect. deep yeah. dynasty leagues. <laughs> Timmy, you just traded me Bobby Witt. But yeah, we do like these mystery boxes for ten dollars, and then we have ten cent card day, and all that, and then we have a few charities that we donate them to. LA's best after school program. Yeah, what about I'll just name There's Anthony Volpe to 499. I'll just name the three like most controversial shit like PETA, <laughs> <laughs> PETA, uh, ACLU. <laughs> uh. There's Robert Klaus, who might as well get this like even more politicized. This break. Everyone's gonna watch this hour video. I'm just gonna watch the recap. Like that. Uh, there's Jeremy Pena, gold. Uh, no, yellow auto. There's 75. Just for, like the 60 people that are watching live right now. 30. 30 people out of office. Uh, the office is on the Comedy Central West Coast, at least. I don't know about East Coast. Nice yellow auto to 75. Jeremy Pena, Astros. Jeremy Tillman, having a pretty solid break. Where, where are we doing, who's doing the, the hobbies tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know where. Where are we going to do it tomorrow? The other studio's not set up here. I don't know. We have to probably use the Alienware laptop. That's oh, not even sold out yet, so it's kind of a moot kind of point. Kind of a point, yeah. Right. Uh, Everson Pereira. Atomic. Want to do it tonight? Just do all four. <laughs> just break until 6 a.m. Just do it tonight. Get it all out of the I way. We might, but we don't have them. All, all, oh, that's right. All noir tomorrow? No, I think I might set up my office for a streaming channel and do Nick at Night from there. Whoa! From the corner office? Yeah, from the Skyline View office. Wow. Uh, Dominguez spanning the globe. That's a pretty good studio. 
I just gotta pick up like a million of the cards and then we'll be good. I think we have 20. Uh, price of a blaster, $20 hit packs coming soon. 10 cards a pack. I think we're gonna do something like that. Maybe $30, I don't know. Who said the hobby was expensive? Yeah. You got Jaspi taking care making of Making dreams come true. Making dreams things. come true. Sold out of retail? Well, I'll just buy a Jaspi. Zach Gallon at 50. It'll definitely be more value than what you get out of a blaster. Zach Gallon Panakis? But he gets that all the time. You ever see the um, Between Two Ferns movie? Movie? Yeah. When did they do that? It's on Netflix. Kind of funny, actually. I, You know what? I didn't realize it came out, actually. Yeah, it came out last I, year. I remember they were talking about it. It's a good way to waste like an hour and a half of your life. Be like, it's kind of funny. It's not like... I don't know. I, I don't agree with the movie. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> the artistic. The artistic merit of, of doing that kind of bit comedy, which I think is perfect in that sort of format. Well, it's all for money, Joe. Come on. I know. I Follow know, the I know. money. Zach Gal Netflix said here. He needs a third. $30 million. Hollywood piece. Hills home. And he's like, okay. Paid for it with that. It's all in the system, man. I mean, maybe he doesn't, but maybe his agent is like, I need a second home. I'm sure it's Al Galifianakis, who hasn't been in very anything successful since The Office, or since He's uh, in uh, Baskets on Since The FXX. Hangover. That's not successful. Oh, well, it's critically successful. Well, maybe he it's likes that, but he's like, oh, I'm not making... Man, he's getting the bag with a Netflix movie. It's true. It's all for the bag. Are he doesn't seem like the guy who would care about money, but I'm sure he does. Is he... Is he... Is Netflix really getting that many extra subscribers? I don't even know how they make money. I'm very confused about that business model. It's like a high stock number. Oh, the public, huh? Huge money. That's why they got... But how are they... They don't do average... How are they making money? It's all subscriptions. It's all subscriptions? Yeah. And they haven't hit, like, a ceiling on subscriptions? I don't think so. I think they're growing every day. Their earnings are like higher each, higher and higher. Beat their goals. Even, even with Dis Plus? Even with Dis Plus. Dis Plus is a little baby compared to Netflix. DP's a Netflix is a monster. I mean, DP's Stream going fast. Monster. DP's going fast. Yeah, but they just have a lot lower ceiling. Netflix is for everybody, kids to 100 year olds. Right, 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 right. Disney Plus is any 60 stuff, year old right. going to be signing up for Disney Plus? Other, unless you're a Mandalorian fan, mm. but you've canceled by now. Watch Fox and the Hound or something. Like I haven't used Disney Plus really since the Mandalorian. I don't know why I right. should still. Right. I should just cancel. They got Marvel stuff on there. You like Marvel? Yeah, but I've seen them in the theaters. There's no original Marvels yet. I did watch the new oh, Pixar. Right, 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 right. I watched the new Pixar movie. Yeah, kind of funny. So if you. Dominguez, if you're thinking, hey, if there was some original Marvel content on here, like a Marvel television show or something, like a series, man, Rex is just diving into politics here. The uh, Zach SNL skit about Biden is hilarious, or is it Bidet? I can't tell which one you meant to say. Wait, whose sketch? The Zach Galifianakis, I'm assuming, sketch. Is it about a Bidet or Joe Biden? Or both. Yeah, they play that. They play that song during the movie. The movie's really good. You should watch it. I like it. I'll watch it. It's I not like really it. good. It's funny. I like Galifianakis. It's just a. It's just a, a time killer. You know, you're just buying time until you're at that that stage of life where I wish you don't we're, live anymore. I wish we were going to like the National or something like Vegas that. Vegas or something. It's a perfect. Air, it'd be like it's an airport a perfect movie. airport movie. Like if you're in, if you're flying to like Dallas, Texas, it is the perfect, perfect airplane movie. Perfect. I would download that. Takes like an hour and a half, and then by the time it's done, like you're already kind of getting ready to land. Perfect airplane movie. In a, in a you download movie. it on your Netflix. Yep, download it on the Netflix. Just watch it. Watch there. it offline. Don't have to pay for the Wi-Fi. Yeah, don't pay for the GD Wi-Fi. You don't have to watch your. You don't have to touch that dirty screen. The airplanes have. There's Mike Trout. You know how airlines lied to us and said that if there's Wi-Fi, the plane would crash. Yeah, and then they built it in. Yeah, then they're like, oh no, you just have to pay fifteen dollars for it. Then it won't crash. Then it won't crash, right? And it won't crash the plane. I remember when they said you can't 
turn on your phone, but like you have to have your phone turned off. But now, but now it's totally opposite. Remember, uh, the guy from SNL got kicked off a plane for playing Word with his friends? Baldwin, yeah, Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Gold really, Shimmer, Brian. Really had to play that Word with Usana to 50. Then he was forced Remember to. Remember how big playing? Words with Friends was? Huge! Remember Huge. how big mobile games were? And then they kind of just fell off. Pokemon Go? Well, I'm saying, like, oh, I thought it was another Dominguez. I was going to go nuts. It is Ezekiel Duran. For Jeremy Tubbs. Oh, but in terms of, like, Words with Friends, Candy Crush. Like Zynga games, like Farmville. Zynga games, yeah. They, Candy they, Crush. They must have been bought by somebody. They're public stock, too. They're public? Yeah, I was thinking of investing in them because I guess they're getting heavy into gambling games. With the legalization of gambling. I think they might be a stock to watch. A stock. Nick Jaspi. Stock watch. That's what I'm going to do. Stock to watch. Stock watch. Not poking my eyes because you're not supposed to touch them. Stock Going watch. slightly under. Stock to watch. Stock to watch. Alright, you got the two and you got your eyes? Yeah. It's like the umpire. Stop see you. to watch. I'll just do that in the middle of my Bowman hobby cases. Yeah. The next 20 days. Get like sued by the SEC or whatever. Somebody, yeah. You told me the stock was going to go up. I invest my, <laughs> <laughs> in my whole inheritance in it. Stock to watch. Why did, <laughs> I, why did I invent it? And have invest it in Zanga games. It <laughs> on YouTube for me too. I have a really cheesy music. Nick Jaspi's. <laughs> it's like the graphics. Stop to watch. <laughs> Want blinking lights and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the lights go off. Nick Jaspi, stop to watch. <laughs> Today, Zynga, mobile gaming platform. And my reasoning? Yeah, I really like this game because it really has good navigation map. and Yeah, I think it's going to have uh, an effect on their stock. Jess, <laughs> Nick Jaspi, stock to watch. <laughs> and that's it. It's just ten, just five seconds. Cody Hosey to four ninety nine. Blue Shimmer, Seth Beer, Diamondback, so one fifty. Oh, by the way. That, that that girl in Uncut Gem, right? No way they let her bet that much money at that casino. Right? Well, the whole betting part was terrible. There's a like, shirt in a postal. You can't take a Louis Vuitton bag full Matthew of cash. Matthew with the Rangers. Well, so you can't like, bet a parlay that much anyway. That much, uh, yeah, there's limits And you there. can't have a tip. No one bets a tip in a parlay. That's illegal. But yeah, spoiler alert. But yeah, that whole part was kind of BS. Did you like it other than that? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. I think it really captured the intensity. It's very of... anxiety and Oh, yeah. Because they always talk over each other. Yeah, I didn't really notice that until you mentioned that in the Slack. They're I always was, talking. Oh, right, they do. That's why it feels like frantic it's and just stresses con- you out. I guess the the Safdie twins do that a lot. They have a very good movie with Robert Pattinson on, oh, on Netflix, Oh, that's they did too. the Lighthouse movie. That they, weird Lighthouse movie? No, 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 no movie? not that one. Oh. They did um, the same studio, one in 2017. I forgot what it's called, but it's pretty good on Netflix. It's not the one with Daniel Willem Dafoe and. No, 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 it's not that one. Same studio. Same studio though. I think, but yeah, there. I'll, I'll tell you a true story. I was watching the movie. I had gotten out of the shower and I had dressed and I I grabbed my towel and I was gonna take it to the bathroom and I Grace sat on my dad's chair. And then I blinked and it was like 40 minutes later. I still had the towel in my hands. I was dressed and I had the towel in my hands. Didn't mean good. Like watching, but that's how like engrossing it was. Yeah. Yeah, just like, I don't know, like, if they needed to make it even longer, but they pack so much into the movie. It's, I mean, it's a long movie. Though. It's a long it movie, kind of and it's just, but it was, it was just like, there's never a dull moment. Yeah. Jaspie's movie reviews. 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 Ding, ding, reviews. Ding, 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 ding. It's like a bad FM morning radio show. <laughs> It's like the echo. Reviews. Views. Views. Reviews. Reviews. Hey, be sure to hit the bell and subscribe. Get more reviews and tell us in the comments what you want us to review next. It's pretty good though. 
Um, Cal says, I hear the Candy Crush esports scene is rapidly growing. Definitely a great buy low, sell high candidate along with hummus. Like the, the food? The hummus? food hummus? Is there a symbol you got for us, Cal? Yeah. What hummus company am I investing in? I might start am taking. I investing in Sabra? I might start taking. Am I investing in. I might start taking calls into my stock portfolio. Wow. Show. <laughs> All right, we got Cal coming on. Cal, from, uh, Cal's on the line. Hey, Mesa Nick, Verde. Long time, first time. <laughs> Just want to say, Zinka is a great call. You know, the esports scene is growing, and they're so definitely the, the next one. Esports scene in Candy Crush. Well, You're a professional Candy Crush. You got these kids spending dough on their parents' iPads. Wow. Yeah, Adam Sandler was pretty good in Sandler that was great. movie. KG was great. Yeah, he's not a playing bad athlete. himself. <laughs> it's definitely one of the better athlete performances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though he's playing himself. LeBron was pretty good in that one uh, Amy Schumer movie, who definitely fell off the earth. Amy Schumer. Yeah. You never she... see her anymore. Oh, I saw her on a Food Network show. There was a commercial. Yeah, there. exactly. Her and her husband. Oh, exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no offense. She's not in blockbusters anymore. Well, Amy Schumer got a got a little accusation of stealing like, jokes. Stealing jokes. Yeah. yeah, I think maybe maybe she's like laying low and then gonna be like, oh man, is this not on? <laughs> Sorry, has it been on camera the whole time? I know my hands are ripping packs anyway. So well, I mean, like you can see, look, nobody's here, nobody else is here. Look, <laughs> what the gremlin came. The gremlin that's like and, as high, half of this height. And it's like, yeah, we definitely wouldn't have done that in the Dominguez out of 250. Like, would we have shown that card? Some people will get weird. They're like, you took my you took my chrome Dylan C's. <laughs> they, start, they, they start crying. Why do you, why do you, you take Like my... you said, people, other than the live viewers, they're just watching the recap. That's true. I'm going to delete this video from the earthings of the internet. We talked about so much controversial subjects. Yeah, well. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta break some omelets to make some eggs. I think it's the opposite. <laughs> break some eggs to make some omelets. Strike that, reverse it. Right? Yeah, no, I was just kidding. Oh. Yeah, I want to hear more about this hummus, cow. I do love hummus. I, I've never had it, but is it something that I can invest in and make more money than what I put into it? You should, you, should, you should have gone that DraftKings. My favorite stocks are ones that you buy for a certain dollar Draft amount and up, then... Up 150%. My favorite stocks are the ones that you buy for a certain dollar amount and then they're more. And then you sell for more than what you paid for it. Whoa. Those are my favorites. That's, that's an incredible concept. If you want in on hummus, Sabra is definitely a great starter stock. But the big boys pretty much exclusively trade Trader Joe's hummus. <laughs> the big boys. The big hummus. Uh, follow the money. Big okay, hummus. Trader Joe's. That's a good call. How much Trader Joe's is a stock? I didn't even know they were public. I think he probably means going directly to Trader Joe's and trading with Joe. I would I would take my fur pelts. Cole went to twenty five from uh, from all my or, fur pelts. Or does he in. mean that you go to Trader Joe's buy hummus and it's going to go up in value? It's like a buy and hold, like prison basketball. <laughs> you hold it sealed. <laughs> oh yeah, because I heard that, isn't there gonna be like a hummus shortage in 10 years due to COVID or something? What? I don't know, my brother was saying something, you know him. Ooh, Joan Diaz, nice. Tampa Bay Rays, Robert Thron. I love hummus. So like, there's no more like chickpeas or whatever they make hummus out of? It's something due to COVID. Everything's freaking COVID. As long as I will riot if there's an avocado shortage, that's all I'll say. It might be. He might have been talking about that. I'd love an avocado shortage. What are you talking about? I'd love a tree nut shortage and an avocado shortage. Uh, I do like almonds, but... No, I, if people didn't eat almonds, I would be fine. I guess I can go ground nuts. Have, wow! Have peanuts or something. Wait, but this is this article from 2018. A global chickpea shortage has caused the price of tub of a tub of hummus to soar by almost 30 percent. Bobby Dalbeck. So what happens when uh 
So maybe there's just a similar thing happening now. When hummus runs out. I don't know. What happens to their stock? I guess you sell Trader Joe's. Alright, so Trader Joe's is going to be on my watch list. Thanks for calling in, cow. Max Muncie to 50. What? The Financial Times, there's an article said that says, The fight to save hummus from extinction. As the climate changes, modern chickpeas are in peril. And that was a November 2019 article. Wow. Wow. Type in avocado's COVID shortage. What? Between 1996 and 2016, U.S. hummus revenues went from $5 million to $725 million. How's that possible? People got on that hummus train, like, late in life? Hummus is good, but... I guess I've got 10 boxes of the bell here. Yeah. I've been doing this for an hour. Trader, Stowe's, Trader Joe's stock doesn't exist. Cow, what, how do I trade Trader Joe's? Is it on like the dark web? I'm not on that. Sixto Sanchez to 150. Daz Cameron to 250. There was an avocado shortage last July. I guess they did get kind of expensive. Gold auto to 50 for the Braves. Jaseel De La Cruz. Nice. That card is gold! Jason says, Sabra is good. I'll bring some from the Diplomat in Monrovia Thursday. Ooh, yeah. I'll get some pita chips. That's Mark. I didn't understand any of that. I don't know what the diplomat is, I don't know what Sabra is, and I don't know what Monrovia is. How, do I, how much is an avocado tree, you think? Sabra's Hummus, a brand? Bobby Witt, are they the biggest hummus brand? It's pretty popular, that's what you'll see at most major chains. Cal says they trade Trader Joe's underground. It's too risky exchanging such volatile stocks in the public. Damn. I think my first tattoo is going to be an avocado tattoo. You're getting a, you're getting a tattoo? That's not, that's not much I love for those things. I don't like any foods that can kill people. Avocados can't kill people. Like, like, imagine, like, people are so selfish that, that, they'll eat, that they'll eat foods that can kill other people. Like, think about that. Like, oh, I need avocados so badly, other people can die from them. But I'm still gonna eat them. Stephen Parker, allergic to avocados. Can die, right? Probably, yes. Yeah, actually. so yeah. I think his doctor said, yeah. I think even if you just had a spoonful, it would just be like like really bad food poisoning. But yeah, if he had more than a few food spoonfuls. But um, he said that if he ever gets murdered under suspicious circumstances, I'd probably get. Avocado accused. Not a lot of people. Well, now you just told fifty people. Well, they, I mean, they don't know who Steve Parker is. Logan Davidson, Atomic. You also told them he works at Blizzard. He worked at Blizzard. Damn it! So now, <laughs> <laughs> they know all about him now. He is a public figure. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well it's my fault. Delete this video. <laughs> no one's gonna be watching live, like a replay of the eighth box of the hobby. I better get out of here. Hurry up so I can do the other hobby. But no, just think about that. Like, imagine so, like something yeah, well, like one of I've those. I've been avocado shamed. I don't order avocado when I'm around it. For fear that the food may be contaminated. I'm serious. If we go out for dinner, like, just won't do it. Can't do it. No, I'll be done with this in like 15 minutes. Dominguez Chrome. Got my tries. Five boxes to go.
This one actually, this one has UP and FedEx labels on it. Yeah, don't show them. That's where we got it from. Oh. Those are straight from the factory. Oh. Special, special. What's the diplomat here? What do we got? Pulling up the Yelp. Oh, it's a, uh, it looks like a, kind of a, no, Mediterranean bar and Lebanese. Oh, so yeah. They know about the hummus. They know about the hummus. Ever seen Sausage Party? Yeah. That's Cameron Atomic. Sausage Party is a, a, a adult animation. Yeah, it's rated R. It actually kind of suddenly hints at like Western culture and politics. It's kind of funny. Red Dragon needs a uh, Brennan Davis Red Refractor Auto. He's got the Cubs. Like I need air. Wow. Remember, remember, uh, remember the Better movie Red that. Dragon? No. Which was the the Hannibal Lecter movie with Seth Ed, Beard at four ninety nine? Ed Norton and I don't watch Hannibal Lecter. Mm. I'm not a horror movie guy. Joan Diaz is two ninety nine. More of a psychological thriller. I'm not a psychological As thriller to a, guy. A, a horror movie. That's more those. Like supernatural creatures. Autograph Quinn Cotton Speckle to two ninety nine. First one I've. What has this lady done? Post office. Yeah. Um, Blaze Glory. Cincinnati Reds. That's going out to EA. I think she did that mid office. She did a ABC show with uh, actually someone mentioned more early Bobby Lee and um, the guy, the guy who's married to, no, the guy who's, do, who the guy whose sister is Kate Hudson, who's Oliver Kate Oliver Hudson. Oh. Is that the show where where they're they're divorced but they still live together? Yeah. Oh, I heard that was kind of good. Got canceled. Got canceled. Canceled. So she hasn't done much. She also hosts an Office Friends podcast with Angela Kinsey. Who was on The Office? Who's Angela Kinsey? She's the, uh, Angela, short blonde Oh, lady. that's, that's Dwight's, okay. Yeah. They host The Office podcast where they watch an Office episode and then talk about it. Oh. Huh. And cool. discuss so behind the of, scenes Sort of thing. meta, deep dive? Yeah. I don't know what they're gonna do when they run out of episodes to talk about, but we'll see, I guess. Kevin Newman at 250. Is, is Mindy a, uh, original cast member? Yeah. She was from season one? Season one. Hmm. She's, uh, I think she writ and direct a few episodes, too. I think she directed my favorite episode, I want to say. She's a good writer, too. Yeah. But I think she got, like, I don't know, plastic surgery or something. She looks a lot different now. Is BJ Novak on the show? Yeah. Is he from season one? Yeah. Oh, cool. He's also, like, a writer, I think. Bobby Witt Jr. What now? You're starting to get. You're starting to like it. Yeah, I mean, I, I like these people individually. Yeah. B. J. <laughs> Novak is with Mindy Kaling on the show. All right. I like Toby the best. I like um. That, yeah, those are two really good ones. Yeah, I think Safety Day for me, um, when they do the fire drill and then Stanley has a heart attack. I also like uh, the um, the dinner party episode. It's a good one. Toast in here. This is like really kept it cold. I know it's the lighting. B 
But yeah, like, the cutoff for me on good Office episodes is, like, before... Although, there's some good ones after. Before, like, Jim and Pam get married. Although, it was maybe Dinner Party was after that. Then it started to fall off. I actually don't mind that though, without Steve Carell episode stuff. Uh, Zach Collins, the 499. Robert California is kind of in. Eh. I'm always on and off on his character. There's George Springer. I'm not sure why that was upside down. We'll ship it anyway, just in case. Shane Bass. I think we got an orange paper, it looks like. Orange paper coming up. It is Keone Cavaco to 25. Red Dragon with the Twins. Yeah, the dojo is pretty funny, too. That's a good one. The, <laughs> the karate teacher is funny in that. Gunnar Henderson to 125. Miguel Vargas. Refractor auto to four ninety nine. Pulled his red shimmer auto a couple days ago. That's for the Dodgers. That is Matthew S. But yeah, I also like the episode where Ricky Gervais is on it as the character he played in uh, the UK office, and they bump into each other at the intro. Uh, to one hundred and fifty, Brady Singer. I think it's one of the last Michael Scott episodes. Season six or seven. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> when he's when the Asian gym, he's like, "Hey, props to you for not seeing color." <laughs> the photos change and everything. This is funny when Pam punches. Michael Scott out in the uh, in the parking lot. Hey, props on you for not seeing color, man.
Trent Grisham, the 499. Robert Pawson. Super Fractor. How have we not hit one yet? Adam Hall to 250. I think we've done 20 cases. 20-ish? Which isn't a ton, but I thought for sure we'd hit a Super. Maybe even more than that. Sam Huff. Blue to 150. Sam Huff for the Texas Rangers. Matthew S. We got an Adbert Azale to 25, orange, Cubs, red dragon. Got a couple oranges at least. Are you sure about that, Rex? Even like insert superfractors? Like one of these top 100 superfractors? Royce Lewis Atomic. Well, yeah, they say the odds, but it's also different for Hobby and Jumbo. But, like, the Superfractor parallel on some of them is 1 in 69,000. Some of them is uh, 1 in 438,000. So there's just, like, different levels. I guess an autograph Superfractor, the true rookie, is definitely, obviously, pretty hard. Nick Madrigal. Oh, the wall. On a day marked by panic corporate board meetings, one that is relatively unsurprising is Dunder Mifflin, so there's rumors that they would recommend the uh, and the article cuts off. But don't worry, I'm going to finish the article. Whatever I was going to say. Ulrich Bojarski to 499. Uh, sorting we have kind of Matthew Stubblefield. Breaking, I don't mind breaking. The hardest part is sorting. I've only sorted one case. We got Orange Shimmer. Damon Jones for the Phillies, number 25. That is Ryan. The toughest part about Bowman is sorting. What me, Joe, and Jason do are easy. Is easy compared to that. It takes like an hour-ish to sort it, and then you gotta bag it, make sure everyone gets the right stuff. Aquino, Atomic Auto to 100. I feel like this was a really solid case. EA with the Reds, nice one, EA.
Yeah, I saw that. Um, I I know the guy who hit that, or not the guy who hit it. Where are they? Where they hit it? I don't know him. I saw I saw uh, him post about it. His shop hit it. Actually, I gotta check my messages for that. Okay. All right, last box, everybody. There's a top loader shortage. There's a Beckett article about it. Yeah. Or is it like a couple months late to the to the shortage? No, there's well, now it's, it's like for real really this time. Bad. You can sell used top loaders on eBay for hundreds of dollars. This one's a good one where they do the the game. They try to find the murderer. It's funny. Everything is gonna be Edwin McCain. Yeah, it, be all right. Michael Scott was singing it because they're oh, about. Oh wow! <laughs> the Dunder Mifflin is going under, so they're trying to. He was listening to the 15 second preview on iTunes. Remember they used to do that or on yeah, Amazon? That's right. <laughs> so he get playing that ver that. That part, it would just go ever and then it stopped. <laughs> um, Balazovic to two fifty twins. Aaron Shortridge to two ninety nine. What? Dominguez Chrome. Come on, let's hit a Super Fractor here. Dustin May, Super Fractor Auto? Super! Come on, Super! <gasps> oh, uh, I thought it might have been atomic. for a minute. 93 of 100 Atomic, Dustin May. It was May. different though, it was like all shiny. I was like, oh, it could I be. I thought some... for a second. Dodgers is Matthew S. So that's our last auto. I feel like a pretty solid case. A lot of color autographs. We'll do a recap. I'm just under, looks like, an hour on this one. I think it's decent. Not working hard enough, Charmin. Not working hard enough, Charmin. I've been having to use this half ply crap. Frickin' Scott's. Scott's one ply? Half ply. Half Might ply. As well Might as well be a half ply. Scratch my face up, it's so scratchy. God, these commercials, come on. Nico Holzer, Atomic. Hmm. Interesting commercial. This commercial stinks. This is a terrible commercial. Terrible. This stinks. You can't. They all try to be edgy like uh, the Dos Equis guy. You can't make a better commercial than Dos Equis. So there you go, everybody. Here will be the recap video. Just recapping the autographs.
You like Mainly. Dion Cole and Soul Spice commercial. Though. Yeah, he's okay. We got Dustin May to 100, Atomic Auto. Aquino Auto to 100. Aquino. Damon Jones to 25. Adelaze to 25. Uh, Sam Huff to 150. Blue Auto, Refractor Auto, Vargas. Cavaco to 25. Quinn Cotton to 299. De La Cruz to 50. Joan Diaz, Cole Wynn to 25. Apostle, Duran, Campusano. Uh, there's Jeremy Pena to 75. There's an Orange Kikuchi. And oh! Oh! a little to 250. And the big oh! hit is this Jason oh! Dominguez, 152 Dominguez. of 250. Purple Refractor Auto. J uh, Jeremy Tillman with that. So there you go. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. That was the break. Appreciate it. See you all next time.